Alright, what's good everyone? So I have another really cool Blood Python clutch here today for y'all. Here's a Toba, 100% Het T Plus Albino. And this girl was bred to a Pollen, 100% Het T Plus Albino. So this is going to be a really interesting clutch. I don't know um, how these two genes are going to react to each other. But this girl is a really good example of a Toba. And these eggs are really fresh. Man. Yes, come off of them nice. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Completely empty. So let's check. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. All good eggs. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 good eggs. So keep watching and I'll show the cutting and the babies. All right, so here's one I've been looking forward to. You can see one or two babies pipped already. There's some moldy eggs in here. Some of these eggs have a little pink on them for some reason. But we're going to start with... um. Let's start with these moldy eggs because I'm pretty sure they're going to be dead. And I'm just going to toss them out. I don't play with that, the dead babies like some breeders do. Pulling them out and everything. Pretty much know that they're dead, they're dead. That's it. But let's see. Yeah, you see. Nothing. Gunk. Yep. No movement. Let's get these two out. Getting rid of these two. I'll free up some space in this this egg box. Yeah, something went wrong with this one. Yep. Yep. No movement. Let's see. Uh, this one looks nasty too. Nothing good in there. Let me see. Yep. I think this is the last like really moldy looking egg. We'll see how the other one turned out. Come on. You're good, you're bad. Yeah. Yep, dead. So, alright, so let's hope that these other ones turn out alright. I'm gonna cut this one right here that's already pipped on its own. It's gonna be an interesting looking clutch, hopefully. So, um, yeah, that's something different. Yeah, that's definitely got to be Toba, if not Toba Pollen, mixed into that animal right there. So, that's a good one already. Let's see this one here. There we go. Now I'll try this guy. This one already pipped too. Come on. All right, that looks like a normal. And that's gonna be good. I'll be able to show you the difference between a normal and a Toba and hopefully a pollen as well. All right, yeah, that looks like another Toba. Come here. What do we got? This one's 
kind of looks pretty red already. Obviously, there's blood in there, but I can see a color. I'm going to guess that's possibly going to be a pollen. There we go. Yep, there goes a pollen. A lot of um, the color's pretty rich, and then it's got that nice uh, dorsal stripe look. It's a really good example of the pollen. So, that one's tough. I'm thinking that's a normal. There we go. Come here, what do we got? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hard to say, but same thing. Pretty rich color already. So, possible pollen. This one now. That one I think is a pollen as well. And then the last one. All right, hard to see, but possible pollen. So, I mean, hopefully we hit a toba pollen in here, but y'all already know, keep watching, and we'll show them babies. All right, so all the babies out. And it looks like we hit the toba pollens right here. Let me see if I can show y'all. I think all three of these right here are going to be toba pollens. Now, the pollen gene is um, a much more difficult gene to tell it apart from like a, a really nice normal or stripe kind of normal blood python. But right here, I'm going to show y'all real quick. These two here are normals. 100% these are normals, right? And now we come over here. If you look at this animal right here, this is going to be a pollen. The coloration on pollens for as babies is usually nicer unless it's a uh, line bred normals. That's when it comes in, that's when it becomes a little more difficult. And then you get these black spots on the side that look a little more even than say how these look they don't look quite the same as the ones on here as well as we get this dorsal striping that goes all the way through so this one's a real good um, example of a pollen I would say like a high expression pollen now this one I'm not 100% sure could be a low expression pollen or just a normal. This is where it becomes more difficult to tell. And then you got this animal here that it has the dorsal striping. You want to see from pollens, but it doesn't have the color or the black spotting on the sides as well as this one does. So that's where these two become really a lot more difficult to tell if they're pollens or just normals versus these you could tell all day these are normals and then that's why I'm pretty sure these right here a hundred percent these are tobas just due to the color and like I said that stone wash color toba has as hatchlings kind of a granite side pattern but then you get all this dorsal striping which is from the pollen as well as the black spots so there's a good chance these three are probably going to be holdbacks definitely want to produce a, a super on um, pollen which is the flower should be interesting to see how that looks in tober a tober flower but yeah the tober definitely um 
overshadowed the pollen's gene, um, the colors, while the pollen definitely helped with the pattern. Really nice. Really like the Toba Gene. Like I said, it makes it makes everything look um hypo-ish or ghostly. But they do color up, they don't stay like this, so should be fun to see these as adults. That's a really nice song. Um, this is gonna be a really, really red animal right here. The head might be red as well. But this animal right here is going to be really red. Really nice on um, pollen for sure. Yep, I'm really um really happy with this clip. Hit exactly what I was hoping to hit. We missed on uh we missed on T plus stuff, but we'll try again next season. But that's about it. Y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, subscribe. Next time. Later.